hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel i'm really glad that you are here my name is olamide adego k um, i speak on relationship marriage motherhood christian lifestyle i also teach bible stories that can help edify you and make you a better christian so if you are new here you're welcome please can you subscribe to this channel let this channel grow i need your input God bless you and please like this video share with someone so quick one I want to speak on the influence of parents on the choice of who to marry I've received this question um, a number of times from people asking if parents have uh, the capacity to influence you to marry right I'm going to be answering this question in diverse ways uh, let me first establish this in the book of genesis genesis chapter 24 it was in genesis chapter 24 that we saw how abraham who was the father of isaac shows for his son right he shows for him and the way it happened in that place it was divinely orchestrated because i wanted um i want i believe that it was it was God's hand, you know, if you read the story from verse 1 to the end, God was the one that was guiding Abraham, that guided the, um, Abraham's, um, the person Abraham sent, you know, um, the servant of Abraham. It was God that guided him till he met Rebecca, right? So it wasn't as if maybe Abraham just chose Rebecca and was influencing him on Isaac and said, oh, this is a woman that you must marry, right? And remember that immediately Isaac saw Rebecca, the Bible said that he was comforted if he loved her, right? So that settles it. What I'm telling you is parents have their own quota to play in the choice of who to marry, but they are not to influence anyone on you they are not to impose that's the word there's not they are not to impose any man or woman on you we see this happen a lot amongst um let me say wealthy people in courts they they want to you know mingle only with people in their caliber and because of this they choose they want their children to choose from you know a set of people and they will influence and say oh you must marry this person i remember there was a time there is this person that i know the parents they they were the ones that you know much make them together and honestly they got married but the marriage didn't last they they ended up you know in divorce why because it wasn't as if they love each other it was just the parent that wanted them to be together and you know they couldn't get along so parents have their role to play in the choice of you to marry but it, it depending on if you have um if you have godly parents godly parents and that is why if you are the kind that you're watching me and you are not yet born again please i want to beg you to be born again it's very important the holy spirit is the one that will guide us it is there for us to lead us aright our parents are healthy parents they are also there to guide us but their decision should also be dependent on what the holy spirit is saying right so firstly they are they, if they are born again their rule is to counsel you is to guide you not that they will not say oh a you must make you must marry b if you are not married b i'm disowning you you must ma and you know the old thing it's a big mess right so make sure that they are they are godly parents and if they are godly parents their role is to guide you let me uh, share my little experience um during my graduate days there was these there were two two uh, people they came they, their parents even visited my mom because I have uh, lost my dad so it was I was directly under my mom and I was in school but they went to meet her and they told her that they want uh, they came differently anyway that they, are, they want their, their children their son one of their sons to marry me 
being a decent lady, they want us to marry each other. And my mom told them, she had not even told me at that time that, see, this age, you can't match make children. Let them choose whoever they will. And honestly, by the way she told me, I was just laughing. Ah, hey. <laughs> they want me to marry their son. Really, you know, I know that parents have fears. Fears, you know, of un fear of unknown. They have a lot of fears of what happened to my children. My children did not marry this person, this, that. But their rule is to pray for their children. Parents, pray for their, your children. Even if you are watching me, you are parents, even before your, your children get to the adult stage, begin to pray and commit their future to God's hand, right? So their role is to guide, to pray, and if you know that your parents are not born again and they are imposing someone on you, don't be in haste. I wouldn't say you should fight them or maybe uh, embarrass them, disobey them. No, the Bible says we should honor them, right? But we should, we should do it in wisdom. You can just take your time to pray about it and ask the Lord to convince them because you're also a child of God, right? And I know that God will not lead you into error. God will not want you to uh, be uh, in, in problem. God will not want you to end up marrying someone that will not give you joy. So rather, when they come like that, pray for them that the Holy Spirit will convince them and the Lord Almighty will also touch their heart so that they will not impose anyone on you, right?